I got a request from a viewer named Gary to do some additional testing on this foam action sports rest. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So stick around. Welcome back crew. I'm Chris Dover. And today we've got a viewer requested video from Gary. And Gary asked us to do some additional testing on the Foam Action Sports Rest. And what Gary wants to know is how well uh, we think that it will hold up to the cylinder blast from a revolver. So let's get out on the range. Let's do some shooting. Now what we're going to do is we're going to shoot five different revolvers in a position on this rest where the cylinder is up close to the rest itself. We're going to see how it holds up. I'm going to start with the Taurus Tracker 17 HMR. Don't really see any damage. Okay, now we'll bump up to the Model 15. Uh, Smith & Wesson 38 Special. As you can see here, it's holding up pretty good with the testing. But we're going to turn it, see if we can get it a little more stable. We're going to be bumping up to the Model 65 Smith & Wesson 357. Well, that didn't work too well either. I don't know if you can see that or not, but starting to see where the uh, blowout from the cylinder starting to affect it a little bit and we still got a couple of bigger calibers to go so after the 17 HMR the 38 and the 357 you can see what it's starting to do to the rest here is it still functional? Yep, it's still functional. Is it that bad? It's not that bad of damage, no. So let's move to the Ruger Vaquero 45 Long Colt. It's interesting because that one wants to jump backwards on me. It really hasn't exacerbated any of the damage to the rest. Now we're going to go to the Ruger Red Hawk 44 Magnum. This is going to be interesting. Well, thank God I only had six of those to shoot because that's about all my hand can take. Whew. That 44 Magnum is a rough, rough dude. Okay, so let's take a look here. Let's see. Um, I really don't see, again, any exacerbating damage. Now let's take one last look at the damage that the rest did take from those cylinder blasts. And there you go. You can see the marks from on either side from the cylinder blast. They're not really deep. They're just minor scars. They really don't hurt the function any. Uh, they didn't, actually they didn't cut really into this groove where your 
firearm rest bad at all. And even if they did, uh, you could always flip it around and use the other side. Hopefully that answers the question that Gary had and maybe even answers some questions for you other guys as well. And if you haven't watched the torture test video for this rest already, which is really interesting, uh, I will put a link right up here. I will also put a link to Foam Action Sports down in the description where you can go and you can buy this rest if you think it's something that you can use. If you do go to Foam Action Sports to buy that rest, be sure to type in the promo code CLOVERTAC at the checkout to get 10% off. As always, we appreciate you watching. And until next time, don't forget to chain fire freedom. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out some of our other videos. If you enjoy the channel, why not subscribe? If you want to passively support CloverTac, you can do so by going to CloverTac.com and shopping with one of our wonderful affiliate sponsors.